Uh, I've been working on a new strategy, a, a new play style for the new killer, uh, Sadako. Uh, I've kind of stumbled across something, so I'm just kind of going through a lot of experimentation, a lot of different builds. And essentially, let me try and break this down for you. This is essentially a no hook play style. So it's a very, very heavy slug play style. Um, so far, the success of it's been pretty good. I've played a little bit off stream to try and mess with it. We've ran into some swift swift with it. I played it against like solo queue players and it's pretty solid. I'm still tinkering around with it. So today and today's video is really just gonna be about me experimenting with it, going through some of the positives, the negatives, uh, and just kind of showing you the progress of when it comes down to uh, maybe changing up a play style or uh, shaking up the meta a little bit. I, I thought it'd be a lot of fun for everyone to join us today instead of me just doing it on my own time. I think it'll be a lot of fun, but the main thing that we're going to be playing around, a lot like the knockout build, is we're going to be playing around with ring drawing. So the ring drawing, the thing that you have to remember about it, is that condemned survivors spread condemned to other survivors who complete a healing action on them. So what that means is when you pick a survivor up who's slugged, that's one condemned. When you continue healing them and get, like, let's say you fully heal them, that's two condemned. Now, it's when you play against stealth killers, you're already um, wanting to heal because they typically get a first hit pretty easily. Now, with Sadako, she does have a little bit of range of error there because she can get hit. But with her teleportation, she has good map mobility. So we're really trying to take a hold of the game, snowball out, and just kind of go from there. What we really want to do as well is we want to find one survivor and only hook that one survivor. So what this kind of creates is almost like a semi-tunnel. Not in the sense that you want to wait for them to get unhooked and then chase them down and, you know, hook them again. What you want to do is just prioritize so much time efficiency into chases and downs that you'll slowly whittle away everything while keeping up immense pressure. And this is why I'm going to call it the Perma Pressure or Sadako. Uh, and I've taken it around a little bit. I've asked some really solid killer mains on, uh, as far as within my community to also try it out. So that way we can get like the best feeling for it and maybe get a little better statistics on it. But today that's all we're really going to be playing along with uh, a few Twins games. But this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm really, you know, I'm ready to see some of the positives and negatives. Uh, I've already came across some myself, but I think it'll be fun. So uh, let's get to it. All right, Cold Tower. What a good way to start. Now, like I said, the good point of this is that smaller maps should feel pretty good. Okay. See if we can get rid of this. Does he drop right away? He tried risking it. Fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna break this. I'll break this leaf chase. Okay, maybe not. I'm interested now. There are two people over there. I don't know if I can down in time. He might get pout or uh, dead hard. Nope, good. All right, so he just did that. Let's get two condemn on these guys. Good. Howdy. We're not getting any stacks for that, but that's okay. She's going to the left. We're going to chase her instead. I have one survivor who's on a gen over on the other side. Or if we got two survivors here currently. I'm going to try and get some stacks here. Drop it. No drop. Cool. We'll take it. Now she wants to go because everyone's been a affected uh i get a hit here nice give me my stacks we do have bamboozle if i want to play around it that hard no good uh let's pick her i'm gonna go ahead and hook her she's gonna be the only person i think that i'm probably gonna end up hooking I have a little bit of time. They're all healing up, which means they're spreading Condemn right now. They're resetting. I'm hooking. So I'm getting one hook right now. They're also going to reset over here by him. Cool. Going for the save. Get a stack on him real quick. I just wanted my stack to save best for last. Cool. We can break this. 
Now, if she ever goes down to me again, I will go for her. Okay. We'll go there for a second. The early game can definitely get from underneath you, so you gotta watch it a little bit, but... Again, we have lots of pressure right now. Where we at? Nice. I have a big dead zone here. Dead hard? Good, good. That's fine. Break it. They're gonna wanna heal up here soon. All right, they're right here healing up. I didn't want to use that teleport just yet. Good. That's fine. We're just getting rid of pallets. Again, it's all about that pressure that we can try and build up while removing resources. And he's almost where I want him. I might teleport there. Let's teleport there. Fair enough. Fine, Jill. Here we are. Cool. Damn. Well played on their part. I thought it was in there where I didn't have to worry about that so much, but I guess not. That hard, maybe? No. Okay. Jolt goes off on that. Nice. Does he think I'm going to teleport? See how she's, she's expecting me just to go ahead and pick up. We're not going to pick up. Pretty much ever. Okay. Shut this down with Bamboozle. That way we can kind of go for a quick little hit. The pallet's already gone, but they do have a vault here. A really nasty setup, actually, when you think about it. Feels bad. Okay, do this. Double bag. Nice. Get her off on it. Feels good. Give her a slight chase here. Nothing more. I don't want to completely give her access over here to Shaq. I can shut Shaq down, though. Like, that's the nice thing with Bamboozle. They did all heal up. They're going to have to go grab, uh... Ooh, TV's here. And we're running out of places for them to go. And uh, say best for last stacks are going up. Something to keep in mind. Okay, we're going to teleport here. That's okay. And she's gone. Good. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? No one here. Chances are over here. Hi, guys. I'll take my stacks. Don't hit that somehow. Feels bad. Okay. This is fine. We're just trying to keep everybody injured and keep up the constant pressure at the moment. Nice. That's fine. Feels good. Let's see what he does. I'm going to block it off for a second. Good. Joel, and we get over here with Infectious. So we're just going to come right back here into chasing. Again, that's the whole point. We're trying to keep up that keep constant up good chase. Work, less than three. Hey, thank you so much. All right. She's over here. Not really the person I need to hook, but again, we don't really care. Again, it's not about tunneling Michaela out. It's more or less about just that constant form of pressure. Kind of like this. And then we teleport back over here. See if we can get a few more condemn stacks. They're picking up. They're trying to heal. They're trying to rebound at the moment. Uh, he's out in the open, so we go for him. We're also going for him because of the jolt, right? If we can ever get jolt to proc, why not? It's extra free uh, reduction for us. Nice. Infectious also gives us an idea where survivors are. Okay. Which one's he going for? That's that condemn stack. Hi, right, what's up? And there we go. One survivor is now dead. Let's go ahead and get rid of this person. He was doing it because he had a tape. Because he's been picking people up so much. You see what I'm saying? He's been picking people up so much that he uh, basically put himself into a death scenario. That's fine. We're just going to block it off. She can't run it twice. And everyone's injured. Everyone needs to be like healing up. 
Gross jello eye, yeah. And if she drops this, that might be close to all the pallets on this map. And she made a mistake. Remember, this is the only survivor we're hooking. Because we capped the pressure, the other two are healed up. Taking her to a hook doesn't hurt us. We're not wasting time. The whole point of this strategy and the whole point of this in general is to create as much time efficiency as possible. And we just see someone take out a tape right there. Why do you take out that tape? Simple. He's almost uh, ready to be killed. There he is, see? Because of all that healing. Hey, buddy. Good. Four stacks is fine. He doesn't have anything here. We got rid of these pallets a long time ago. Dead hard. No, good. And there we go. We got another kill right here. Boom. Let me teleport over here where they're healing up, right? Yep, look at that. Nice. And then we get to finish it up right here. Nope, she's not allowed to take that anymore. Because of a bully skull, do I have any uh, anti-tilt tips? Uh, just be, you know, it's okay to lose. Stay with us today. We're testing out a lot of new stuff. I'm sure we'll lose a lot. Uh, this was a bad uh, vault. But we'll run her like this then. Does she have dead heart? No, who knows? And there we go, guys. You're kind of loving this new build, right? It's, it's a strategy and a build all together. And there we go. There's so much pressure in this match you guys don't see, for example. Think about, like, playing against Sadako here, where no matter what, she's always in chase. You're always having to heal. And on top of always having to heal, you have Condemn that's constantly stacking on you whenever you go and help your teammates from the ground. Are you using Bamboozle? Bamboozle or Spirit Fury? Uh, Bamboozle. Bamboozle shuts down a lot of the strong loops, such as Shack and uh, Jungle Gems, which are a massive problem for M1 killers. When do you start hooking or do you go for four man? You typically pick one survivor in the group to hook. You don't want to be hooking every single survivor. Again, it's like a, it's like the idea of like tunneling, right? The idea is to remove a player singularly. That way you have to only deal with three survivors. This just allows you to take it up to the next level. I still expect really good survivors to be able to beat it. It's just a different way of playing. Like that's the one thing I really want to highlight. This isn't like some like godsend new way where you're like, holy shit, I'll win every game. It's more like, a, oh wow, this is like a, a different viable strategy I could do with Sadako. Uh, one thing to remember as well is that this will not pip up. <laughs> you will not get a lot of pips with this build. Keep that in mind. It's not meant to do pips. It's meant to get kills. Like, when you're playing against Sad uh, Sadako, like, originally, one of your problems is that you can ignore Condemn. With this build, you cannot, in, like, playstyle, you cannot ignore Condemn. It will stack up very, very quickly. Imagine you have two survivors down, you have two stacks of Condemn, you pick them both up by yourself. That's now four stacks of Condemn, just like that. And then I teleport on top of you. Now you're almost in lethal range, with under a split second. Like, that's just how quick that can happen. So Thompson House is different. It, this is going to be one of the harder maps in my opinion. Because like we know with all the cold wind maps, all the good loops are like, you know, connected. And that can feel so bad. Um, let's see. I'm thinking one survivor is going to spawn over here. Ooh, wow, that is lucky. Okay. Good. Now if he makes a mistake though, we can capitalize on it really, really quickly. We have to f see if he's going to. Right here. Damn. Okay, where'd he go? There's a boon. Good. Let's get rid of the boon. I'm right here. Why not? I don't need to hit and run just yet. Nice. Don't hit that. Infectious right over here. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for the chase. So, like, instead of hooking, we're, like, immediately back in chase. That's the whole point. If he drops pallets early or anything, we're just creating more pressure and an open map later on as it goes. Okay. Where's he heading? I want to see how he plays it out. There's more people here. Crows just flew up. There we go.
You keep running. Oh, she's right here. Hi. Alright, let's chase her down for a second. That one survivor's still down, by the way. Super nice. We are shorter here. Got her, cool. Uh, everyone's healing up. We're gonna pick her up. So she's gonna be our target this round whenever it comes to like cooking a survivor. Uh, you see that crow that flew up over there? We know there's another survivor over there right now. Dwight already has a tape, by the way. So he's already focused on something other than uh, the gen. Cool. Sprint burst down. I'll take it. We'll chase this way to avoid. Well, I guess that works too. Do we have any other value here? I might actually go up top just to give her a stack. Maybe not. Let's chase this out. I don't need to do any manifesting or anything like that. Hold up. Cool. Let's get rid of pallets. I'm down. And let's see if they heal up under hook. No. They are running off this way, though. Okay. We're going to use this so we can just kind of go through. Nice. Good. Him screaming is great because we can just kind of locate him immediately. There's another survivor over there who's also injured and who I'm going to go for now. Nice. That's life. So we got life. We know life's an issue. He also has a tape still. So when they go for the save, we can really punish it. Dom, very early stream. Love cool. it. I'm super glad you love it. Thank you, Gibby. It's okay. We're okay with eating the DS. We have the pressure built up. It has nothing to do about that. Now we can chase him. We're just getting rid of it later when maybe we need it. You know what I mean? God, she's the only one we're hooking, so it doesn't matter. Good. Let's see where he runs off to. Okay. There's a boon set up over there who they're healing. Um, I'm going to chase him out instead. Maybe get another jolt proc. Cool. We're going to shut that down. He's going to drop this pallet, right? Good. That guy is still down, by the way. And they're healing each other up or themselves. I do need to deal with that boon. But because we have pressure on this guy already and they're healing up, we're fine. Someone else ran here, though. Actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, get this boon. And then we'll go take out the Dwight. Which I'm guessing they came back here. Okay, so they continue to go all the way over there. Yeah, I'll teleport here. We're fine. Yeah, someone else is here. He's in a little safer of an area, so we'll go this way. Good. He's got to drop this pallet. If he doesn't, he goes down. We're going to go right through it. Yeah, that's fine. And there he is. Good. Oh, I got to see where it's at. Okay. I know which one he's going for. Right here. Good. We're chasing him down and killing him. He has life, but this was the tape he was going for. He's going in the exact opposite direction. Unfortunately, that's blocking my sight. Okay. We've already gotten rid of most things here. He might go here and uh, drop the pallet. Okay. I want to chase him back in the corner. And she knows what I want to do already. So she's trying to take hits for him. Okay. Good. We get the break. He's already ready to be killed. We're at four gens. Even if they get another two gens done, I'm okay with this trade. He's going to drop pallets. Like, it's going to happen. Okay. So this is now one big dead zone. The only thing he has to play around here is the uh, vault. I think there might be a pallet to my side, too. Cut him off. That way he can't vault it. He doesn't have anything. No dead heart. Nothing like that. Uh, that feels bad. There we go. And now we got a player out of the game. Cool. Big map, player out of the game. Lots of pressure. Kate, DS down already. All right. Good. Nothing here. I don't care about doing... Okay. I don't care about kicking gens. That's really not what I'm here for. Good. We can now just walk over this way. I don't see her heading anywhere. They haven't moved away from this area yet. And Haunted Grounds is now active. So everyone is exposed. Which might also get them off the gens moving. We'll see. 
Good. Okay. There's only there's two survivors here. They can't both take the vault. Because the other survivor ran off. There she is. Nice. I don't care again about her. She's not the one I'm uh, interested in. We can break this. Maybe see if he's still over here. No, good. We're going to leave her slugged while we chase out the other survivors. I saw the crows. Just as I started that teleport. Okay. That's unfortunate. But we can kind of backwards here. Good. Here he is. Haunted Grounds isn't a thing anymore, so he's fine. I don't know if Haunted is worth that one down or even two, but it does have snowball potential for, like, the early game. So we might have to try it out for a few games and see if I like it. Good. You see the other survivor behind? That's who we're going for. Oh, I didn't expect her to vault it, to be honest with you. Oh, another life gamer. Holy hell. You never see it. All right, shut it down. Again, we do, we'll get her to throw the pallet. Like, that's that's what it comes down to. And she didn't play it right. So now she's going to go back on the hook. Again, she's the only one we're hooking. Why? Because other survivors are always busy. Hi. You messed up. Whenever you're gonna do that, make it make it a quick uh, a quick click. Don't go for a lunge on those. Uh, I don't need to pick him up. I will I will pick him up. That's fine. Picking up is simply the mistake, but that's all right. Good. I guess I had time, so it didn't really hurt me too much. Who's here? They're both here. We go for her because she's out of the game. First time I've seen Sadako being used. No kidding. It's a different little strat and everything. Good. Deny the uh, strong side of the loop. She'll have to drop the pallet. She doesn't have a choice. Thank you. We don't need to keep chasing her. That's fine. Again, it's not like a tunnel in the sense that you have to like beeline for her. It's just the fact that she's the only one you're really hooking in most games. That'll change depending on like, how quick you get your survivor out. Like, we could hook everyone here now, honestly. It wouldn't matter. Good. But, again, they're not the focus. The idea is to constantly be in the, uh, the survivor's faces. There she is. Good. No dead heart. She won't get there. Good. And now she's out of the game. Uh, Nev, thank you so much for the four months, man. Okay. Boom was last in the middle. Boons you always want to try and find. Like, if you... You don't want to go too far out of your way, but it's totally okay to go out of your way a little bit to find them. They are very, very strong, and they kind of counter out the build. Ah, right over here. See where that TV disappeared? That's because she took a tape out. That means she's probably close, yeah. I bet you anything, she's like one or two uh, hits away. Let's see if where she's going real quick. She's going to that one specifically? Yeah. Alright. She's really close. That's exactly what it is. Um, I'm going to take her away. So, again, we're at the last two survivors. You can definitely hook at this point. And there's three gens left. If there wasn't three gens, you could definitely, like, look to maybe hunt him out instead. But I'd rather now get the game moving. Like, go back and look how many times we've actually gotten Jolt this round to work. It, it adds up. That regression isn't big. But if you can get to work every 30-ish seconds, you are you got something. She's going to beeline here and you remove her tape. And I'm going to put her in the ground. You see how busy, though, it is keeping the survivors? She has decisive i'm really not too worried about it we've shut down pretty much every loop right we can just do this we'll pick her up and start moving it out of the way no no ds okay Dude, just don't get into the mindset with bamboozle that you need to vault everything ah 
Nice. There's barely any more pallets. Like, we've already chewed through most of them. Turn back into me? No. Okay. If he gets hatched, that's okay. But if he doesn't, that's also okay for me. Nice. Okay, so this should be one of the harder maps, but also one of the maps that we can play around. Uh, it's a much smaller map. It is Cold Wind again, which is unfortunate. But Rancid Avatar has some of the nastiest loops that you can imagine. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, pallet layout there. Cal trees on this side, which is bad. You don't want cal tree on this side. You want them all on one side so you can typically zone off. There we go. Cool. Nice. Perfect time to go invisible there. Okay. Let's see. We're going to venture off over here now then. Good. That's fine. Got two survivors here. Let's get that condemned going. Nice. We'll venture off here. We got a lot of condemn out at the moment, which is pretty nice. But this is going to sink up into uh, Shag. I don't necessarily want that. I want him to start dropping pallets, so this pallet should be dropped. You might have dead harden. Oh, I tried following it up. Feels bad. I get this. He can't make that. Yep. Joel hits that. Infectious right over here. I don't want to pick up. I don't got any pressure right now. And they're already running. How far away? Oh, I went to the wrong side. That works. Good. Okay. He's starting to heal already. Also, maybe to catch him off. I guess we did a little, right? That hard? No? Good. They're gonna heal. Let's pick him up. I don't like the way he ran. I think he might be a little more sluggish. I'll keep it in mind, too. So we're trying to find out like which survivor maybe doesn't have the best runs. And more or less hit them for the focus. We know they healed up over here. There we go. Nice. Hey, Thomas. Thank you so much for the sub. All right. Good. I need to start wheeling down these a lot. Okay, hit that. Get the condemn going as much as we can. Fortunately, I'm stuck in a really bad area. The TV layout's been bad this round, too. That's not horrible, though. We'll play with it. Tried? Okay. They should be going for the save now. Let's teleport over there and deny it a little bit. Okay, cool. He's uh, injured, so we're definitely going to try this out. Block it up a minute. Oh, he had life, didn't he? No. Yeah, bamboozle just caught him off guard there. Feels bad. All right. I don't necessarily want to eat a DS right now. We'll leave him slugged for the moment. All right. Got a lot of distance. Where are my uh, gens? Over here? Cool. We'll come back this way in a second. I want to create more pressure first. Nice. Snag that. Okay. Let me just kind of chase around to the left here. Because he's not allowed to vault that anymore. He slow vaulted. He slow vaulted that. Okay. Makes sense. Deny this. This is way stronger. I'd rather get rid of this pallet. I don't want to chance it. There. Good. No chancing it. Good. They just healed up. We're good here. I don't care about this anymore. Uh, let's get a stack on him, though. Good. We got Boone up in play. I don't like it. Let's get rid of it. Okay, and go back here. This is where that gen was. Remember he was working on? Okay. 
Shut it down for the moment. See where he ran off. Do you keep going? He yelled forward over here. Good. The one survivor does have a tape. Where they take it to is a little more interesting. Kind of makes me less interested in this again. Two people have the tape. That means they're looking to get rid of it. I can gamble on it being over here. Okay, he got rid of his. Makes sense. Okay. Nice. Really unfortunate there. Okay. I'll take it. You came back here. Good. These guys got rid of their tapes, so... No worries. Uh, I don't necessarily need to get out of that. There goes Deadlock. Okay. Good. There goes the dead heart. Feels bad. But we can get rid of this pallet, I guess. We have to get rid of the pallets. Like, there's no way around. That's why we bring Bamboozle. We bring Bamboozle so we can get rid of these a little quicker. Good. This will probably be our hardest map to play on, by the way. There's only one more pallet over here. Do you think he drops it right away and we can greet it? What, Jen? Here. Okay. Here it is. Cool. Okay. We know where she's going. She's going inside to this area right here. Cool. That's fine. We can chase her and kill her. Nice. She has to take it. That's fine. We vault it. We get... Uh, I can't do both, though. Good. She's almost down. They need to come take a hit for her. But she could also run and drop every single pallet, and they could end the game beforehand. This is where we get into that really hard moment of the game. Good. We're lucky there. They might still get it. We might have to turn this into more of like a 2K scenario. It's going to be close. There it is. Yeah. That's just this map, though. Again, I knew this map was going to be one of the hardest maps to play on. So I'm really not too worried. We still have quite a bit of pressure here. Oh, uh, we're going to go for an M1. Good. The boon is still set up, which is bad, but that's all right. I don't have a choice here. Uh, I want to see how he plays this out. Okay, he's going to vault it. Good. He's going to continue over here. There's one pallet left over here. Um... Okay. That's hard, isn't it? How do I want to do this, then? Okay. Let me see him leave. I guess I didn't see him leave. Did he leave? I never saw him leave this area, though. Crazy, did he? Damn, that's unfortunate. Alright, so there we go. We get our first loss of the day. That's fine. He came all the way up here. I never saw him leave with no scratch marks or anything. Feels bad, man. Crazy. This map, this map is so bad. Yeah, this map is the worst map, but that's all right. I knew we were going to take a loss somewhere along the road. And it wasn't even so much like their perks or anything like that. It just happened to be like really bad map RNG. That map is probably the hardest map to play on. And I don't think Deadlock did us any favors there, unfortunately. Deadlock doesn't really do a lot if you have split pressure. That's why I don't like it. And for her, it's all about getting rid of resources. We're trying to basically, like, think about time efficiency. So when it comes down to time efficiency, picking up and hooking survivors wastes a lot of time. Not even in, like, the animations alone. Think about it. Animation to pick up, two seconds. Animation to hook, two seconds. Uh, to get the survivor to the, the hook, 10 to 15 seconds, assuming your normal uh, time frame. That means you're wasting on average for every down 15 to 20 seconds if you're picking up and hooking. Would Spirit Fury serve better than Bamboozle? I don't think so. The thing that's really good about Bamboozle is that it shuts down stupid strong loops in the sense of like uh, jungle gyms, shack, main buildings. The problem with like the last map that we had is that it's all one jungle gym. Abattoir is one of the safest maps in the game. Franklin's is also 
possibility. Like, see how these guys here have uh, two med kits? I'm actually going to swap out and put on Frank ones. Again, the thing to think about is, like, even though that last game, it's like, ah, oh, three survivors escaped. Yeah, but look at the pressure we had throughout the whole game. We almost got rid of every single pallet. We shut down lots of loops. It's one of the safest maps in the game. We still got a condemn kill. Like, we created a lot of pressure. Is it, like, a perfect build or strategy? No, but neither is, like, our normal one, which is just downing and hooking. You know what I mean? They probably have a boon, so I don't like Franklin's much anymore. Yeah, but it's meant... The boon is whatever. I can remove the boon. I don't want them self-caring. Self-caring is what hurts the build. Like, boons are definitely rough, but... Medkits are pretty bad, too. So then with this game, we have Franklin's because of the, like, three items, two of them being medkits. We'll see if we can create pressure here. A little bit better of a map than Abattoir, though. It's not perfect by any means because it has main building, but everything's kind of separated. Driver there or no? Yeah. There goes a boon. That's fine. I'll take that. Thank you. Hi, man. What's going on? He actually got, like, distance ahead of me really quickly. Maybe it was that... Did that actual slowdown hurt me? That's so weird. The boon's over there. She's pointing at me, but... Thank you. You might want to drop this. Thank you. Cool. Works for me. Boone's over on the other side then. Okay. This survive this one survivor didn't heal up like right away, so we'll play around with it. That was brave. Jolt just hit that. We got the infectious going. She has her flashlight. She wants to get use out of it. Doesn't matter. There's the boon. Cool. Alright. We're gonna bamboozle it, shut it down. I'll get rid of that boon in a second. Could be exponential. Don't care about that at the moment. At the moment all I care about is getting rid of resources like this. Cool. Good. Another survivor just went to my right. Both are injured. Jolt coming up here shortly. We have dead hard, maybe. Feels bad. That's okay, though. <laughs> I can hear her running. They are healing up. I think they're healing each other, so that's good. I don't care about the boon's healing speed. I care that they heal each other. So if you're already there and it's faster to heal up, why not? She's dropping pallets like crazy, by the way. And they've been healing this this time. Healing. Good. I'm okay with that. She went to the right. Think about all the pallets that have been thrown with five gens still up. This is a lot of help thanks to Bamboozle, by the way. Drop it. Yep. Yeah. Totally okay with it. Nice. Honestly, I would lose a gen for her. I might leave her now, though. Now she needs to do a my, uh, line of sight juke. Yeah, here she is. Good. Jolt hit inside there. Don't care about her still. I could start hooking, but she's pretty competent. So I don't want to, like, use my free hooks on that survivor. I want to create pressure on the other survivors currently. Here we go. A little bit long of a chase, but I'm kind of okay with it at the moment. There's one pallet up here. We know where the boon is. Uh, I don't want to chase her. I'm going to get rid of the boon. She's going to shack. I don't want to waste time to shack just yet. They'll go for the save or the heal on her. Let's teleport over there. There we go. Good. Again, create the condemn. What we got here? One vault. Yeah. Okay. Shut it down real quick. That way we don't have to worry about... Uh, yeah. There we go. We don't got to worry about breaking the wall because the loop is already completely shut down. We've already gotten rid of lots of pallets. There's one here. Nice little dead hard. Good. Survivor back there. Infectious Fry giving us information. We don't need to go around and hook. Just right back into chase. Eventually, they're going to eat up all their resources. Okay. Catch her off guard with that. She can't go to that anymore. 
Nice. Watch for the dead heart, maybe. No. Good. Someone's going over there due to the crow, and they're moving over here to heal. See? That Meg right there, she actually has more stacks on her. But we'll swap, we'll swap over here. Because we have so much uptime and chase, we're not wasting any time. So, like, even though we took that really long chase early, it doesn't hurt us that bad. Like, you would think it's be like, oh, my God, I took one long chase. But think about what the other survivors are doing. Like, be mindful of what other survivors are doing. Helps out tremendously. That was really good on his part. I didn't realize this was a vault, too. Uh, teleport. He's got to be getting real close. Yeah. Good. We'll get this down here in the next, like, 10 seconds. He doesn't really have anything here, so... Oh, I guess he does. I got him. Oh, my God. <laughs> close. All right, break it. Uh, I could start picking up. Let's start picking up. Let's do one pick up here. They're going to be trying to heal. Survivor missed a skill check back there. I don't see them anywhere. Good. I didn't see this person moving. Teleport there. Nice. Head dead hard. There we go. Put down her item. That way she could save it. And then where'd that boon get set up? They did go and heal. I don't think they healed themselves because it was pretty quick. Now we can kind of leave Slug. We most, she most likely has Unbreakable, right? Yeah. Cool. We'll hit her. We'll watch where she goes. I bet you go. she goes back there, right? Back to where that boom was set up? Maybe. She's got to pick, make up her mind. Okay. Is the boon here still? Uh, dead hard? No, good. Again, don't care about her. I want to teleport back to that side of the map now. That's where that, that gen's almost done. That's where they're going to try and heal up. Good. And here they all are. And look what's back up, by the way. Joel. And he's the one that we can hook. There we go. There's nothing here, man. Awesome. Infectious Fright doesn't go off. Cool. So we pick up. We hook him. We hook him right here. Seems good. What we're also doing is because we're being so time efficient and we're starting to get everything rolling, the one thing that we're looking at doing here is that we're getting our we're giving time for our teleports to come off a cooldown. Killing Boons help them pick up slugs so quick. Yep. You are right, they definitely do. You know what shuts it down completely though? Good. Nice. I'm waiting for Jolt, by the way. Unless someone else takes a hit. We're good. Alright, nothing's over here as far as Jolt's concerned. That means she might be sitting on that gen right there, by the way. Trying to finish it. Yeah. Is there blood there? There's blood here. She's here. She's around the back here, ain't she? We scared her. She was here. She ran for a split second. There she is. Nice. Nope, oh, can't allow it. Joel hits that. They gotta go for the save. We're gonna deny it. Ooh, did she get it? Oh my god, she got it in time. Holy hell. Good. It doesn't matter, though. Look at the pressure we have. Now we can chase him down. We're gonna wait a second for borrowed time. Okay. That's fine. If he goes down this area, I'm pretty happy. Good. And that's everybody, guys. It's not Boon Exponential, too. They'd be moving towards it. One of them would be up already. Could be Deliverance play. Here we go, Unbreakable. Okay. Ooh, nice. Can he bring it back? Yeah, we don't mind the Unbreakable play. To, uh, to this build, it's just something that you have to kind of be ready for. Because he did do that, I can get rid of him in a second. Where you at? Over here. She moved which way? Nice. Now you go for this save. This is the power of Unbreakable, but it's just part of our normal game plan anyways. Good. 
Again, I don't really care about them now. Now we can just go get rid of this other player. Ah, oh, damn. I probably should have picked him up and hooked him and just called it. That's fine. We'll keep playing it out. Again, I'm really glad we get to experience this, by the way. This is what we want. We really want to have survivors in a constant state of panic. There we go. Found him. Okay. They can't, yeah, right? Just like that. They can't deal with Condemn if they're busy doing literally everything else. You know what I mean? What do you got, buddy? Ah! Nothing. Cool. And yet we'll get another Condemn kill. Early stream, right, ah! Daniel? Thoughts on Auto Haven in terms of Survivor or Killer? Uh, there are two uh, decent maps for Killer on that side, and there are uh, two really bad ones for Killer on that side. We'll pick up. Again, we're at three gens. Oh, wow. Decide to do the gen instead. I'm pretty surprised by that. So I was like, no, I'm going to do this gen that I set out for. I heard someone inside. But I'm at such a bad angle here. Yeah. Cool. We're okay. It doesn't matter which survivor I go for here. Unless she sees something I don't as far as, like, uh... Uh... I thought I manifested. Good. Goal. Nice. Zero interest in that. She'll bleed out faster than the hook stage will kill her. We can just chase this out. I don't really need to do anything special. I'll go into uh, this state just in case there's a teleport play but again she's already dropped all the pallets hi good but like it's just this type of play style it's definitely different it's a lot harder to compete with because it's just so much pressure so far it's one of my more fun strategies that we've been doing with sadako and at the moment, it seems to be doing pretty well. We've ran into one issue with Abattoir, but that's it. Even with the boons, it hasn't been that big of a deal. Again, the boons do hurt. You should always try and find, like, your way to be able to break a boon. Sometimes you just can't. If she gets hatched, though, like, it's still, you know, we still get the win, so it's still GG's. I'm really happy with it. I just want to play a little bit of Twins today. That's all. And then this is why we bring in Bamboozle. We just go this way. Oh, no. Now you gotta drop this insanely safe pal so soon. Cool. Oh, and there we go. Nice. You've thought about Brutal and ruled it out. Brutal just doesn't have enough time efficiency. Alright, so we got the chapel. We'll definitely go straight into breakable here. So this round we're running deathbound. Um anything special. It's a pretty good start. I will gladly get rid of a pallet right away. Nice. Nice. If she threw that, she was getting hit. The correct play there was to not throw it. We're going to commit to this chase for a split second here. Well, just kidding. Easier target came up. Okay. Someone's upstairs. She's right here. There's no vault. There's a vault. All right, we're going to go here then. You managed to take the Nancy, too. Stopped in the locker. Nice. Good. Um, I don't... I didn't want to hook her, but because she's already the one I'm kind of committed to, we'll go ahead and hook Nancy and call Nancy our target. But, like, this time wasted is the thing I'm trying to avoid. Okay. It just doesn't serve me a purpose to, like, drop her for no reason. Uh, where's that last survivor here? I want to have information on all the survivors. And I don't know where Dwight's at, and I don't like it. Okay. I don't care if they heal up. Here? There he is. Cool. I wanted the information. That way I can kind of track everybody as we're going along here. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. We know that they healed up. We figured they'd heal up anyways there. Drop the pallet, please. Thank you. If he heads back there, that's fine. We can commit to him a little bit here. Wait, did he go the other way? Someone's up there. Hi. Nice. Infectious Fright, thank you. Again, we're not really looking to hit anybody else. The only person we want there is uh, Nancy. Cool. Good. You didn't hit the vault there. There's a pallet here. No, no pallet. Good. There we go. We lost the gen there. That's fine. Put around. Come back over here. They might heal up. Survivors met up over here, right? They guaranteeingly have to like heal up. There goes one heal. Here we go. We got him. Nice. Good. Infectious right there. We can teleport back up there now. Maybe cut off the uh, Claudette. Or the Nancy. Even better. Nancy's the target. That's what we're looking for. Where these guys go. Here she is. Creating tremendous pressure currently. Nice. Is this, uh, let's get this, uh, go ahead and damage it. See how she saved him? She's now deathbound. Cool. It doesn't matter. It's just a health state. It doesn't have to be, like, healing them to full. That's the same thing with the Ryu drawing. And we're gonna go ahead and put her right back over here real quick. So now they might heal on the, uh, Dwight as well. Nope. Dwight's coming inside for the pickup. That's fine. Okay. We're just going to shut that down for later. Do I have anything here? No. Everyone's injured, so we can come right here. This is fine. There we go. We'll go for Dwight. I'll go for the Nancy in a bit when I'm not as worried about, like, decisive strike, you know? Uh, can I get the Joel value? Cool. Thank you. Nancy was moving over here. Okay. Now, Kate has a VHS. I do want to see if maybe I can find Kate real quick. Nothing. That's bound over here, so they're healing up. They, Kate was the one who helped healed up here. Are they both healing? Nice. If she's close, I might be able to really pressure this. Hold up. Like, she might be in lethal here soon. She's been healing a lot. We're going to shut this down now. Ball was the uh, life. Feel fair enough. Uh, swap off. Yep. Claudette becomes the target. I want to get Jolt to go off. Cool. And then we just got to think of where else she might go TV-wise. They're not working up there. We're fine. She got rid of it. So it was over here. There was a teleport we had over here a while ago. There we go. We have the information, so we can just go for her now. Even if they manage to get it all, get rid of the Condemn, that's fine. We still can play around it. Cool. Nice. I'll take it. And then Nancy got picked up over there. And I can move over this way. Same strategy still applies. They're going to be panicking. They're trying to get that heal going. But the, it's a double-edged sword. If they all get healed up, they're still in trouble. Someone got over here quick. Here, that was an unbreakable play. That might be a we're going to live forever. We'll find out in a second. Wait. Wait. I heard healing, I swear. Yeah, right here, cool. Nice, I'll take it. Good. No infectious, so we have no infectious in this area. So that means there's only two places, right? Back there and those gens are over here. Not over here, so we'll check there. Cool. Dwight, that's fine. We'll shut this down, we'll go for Dwight. 
He's going here. Let's see if we can maybe stack him up. Okay. He played it well. I don't need to chase that anymore. And they healed up over here. And she's going for the Claudette. We're keeping them so busy. Healing, picking up slugs. We're just, we're just so time efficient. And it doesn't matter how good a survivor is if we can shut down loops. Hi, how you doing? Skull is going to hit that as well. No infectious value, so we know that Dwight is not on that. So Dwight's got to be more on this side over here. Or Nancy. Okay. We also got to keep in mind that they're also being busy with the condemned stacks. It's a constant pressure. And the survivor, it's that we're basically forcing the survivors to play around it. Okay. We know they're upstairs now. I'm going to come around this way. Cool, and there we go. That's how close she is, because she had to take that out. Now, I don't need to focus Nancy here, because right there, Nancy's going to anyways uh, go down next. When next time Nancy goes down, she's dead anyways. I don't need to focus her. I just gotta apply the pressure to her. Okay. Nothing here. Cool. I'll take it. And she's running over that way. Nancy's still over there. Nancy's dead, so like, why wouldn't she carry the tape? It just might be more uh, of an eye, an eye candy to her. I still need to get rid of some pallets, so good. That's fine. If we use the light, we'll just get our, our advantage here in a second. Ooh, this is pretty nasty. Let me see if I can get rid of this pallet and then I want to move. Good. And let's break it and then we'll go back over there. They're all healing up. Claudette also has... Let's do this. I want to find Claud Claudette. She's got the tape now. Ah, damn. Uh, she'll drop this, I think. Maybe not. Cool. Where? Which one is she heading to? She's going upstairs. She's good. She's fine. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We just weren't able to get to that teleport. We just know where she's at. They're going to bleed out at this rate? It's very possible. That's just... It's the amount of pressure the build adds up. Cool. He has one pallet here. Nice. Oh, that feels bad. Uh, anyways, I got Joel up in a second. That's fine. Fair enough. We left her down over here, and they gotta go for that. So let's go ahead and uh, come over here. You could, in theory, uh, leave a uh, survivor right here. Nice. Nancy's over there. Fair enough. Nice. And there goes, there's Nancy over here. Hi. It's a fun, at least for a lot of intense matches. Cool. Again, we're not going to take the chance. Nancy's the one we're always going to try and pick up and get out of the game. And like right now, look where we're at. Two gens, one kill. This is typically where you want to be around. Doing a gen is also risky. Yeah. Everything they do right now is risky. Because we just got into that constant pressure. I thought I saw her here. Oops. Oh, inside here. Got you. Okay. White isn't here. We didn't see him on Infectious. Maybe here. I could hook up. There's no point hooking up anymore. Both these guys are bound to die due to just uh, bleeding out. So we don't want to, like, hook them. That will give them more time in the game. Unfortunate. 
Good. That screen will stall him out for a second. And now we see him. Good. We'll cut across here. Hey, man, what's going on? And there we go. Woo. Now I'll go for hooks. But because this was such a long game, like, it's a very intense game. But it just shows how much pressure that we're able to generate. Like, these guys are trying to get gens done. I'm going to do this. I'm going to watch them, though. Lots of slug builds till we have lots of Kobeing. She'll die out in a second. It's faster for her to die out than me to hook her. Good. How are you going to decide what is the strongest group of perks? Uh, I'm just, I'm playtesting them all. Like, that's the fun part about coming up with, like, a new strategy in a sense, is that you have to playtest it a lot. Like, even when we have bad games, it's not anything that, like, it should be a bad thing. It should be, see, like, it's, it's all about how much pressure did the strategy build up. And even in the bad game so far, I feel like we've played up a lot, a lot of pressure. All right, no one's starting over here, at least on gens. Okay. Cool. Grab our first hit here, maybe, unless he drops pallet. It's a safe pallet, yeah, probably a good call. I don't want to chase over there. We'll chase here. Yeah, more survivors here. Good. She didn't vault anything here. Can I get rid of a pallet here? Or maybe a down? Dead hard. She's looking back, yeah. Lucky for her. Cool. Nice. Infectious over here. Hey, what's going on? I'll get uh, some condemns here in a second once we keep this pressure going. Boone's still up. You gotta drop this pallet. Or dead hard for it. Good. Nice. Jolt just went off, hit that gen back there. Let's see real quick. Anything? Nothing here. Now, we have to get the condemn on them for them to spread it, though. I am going to take the moment to pick a survivor up. Again, we don't always want to... Please? Holy hell. We don't always want to leave just constant slugs. If we have them healing, that's when we want to pick up. And get, like, a hook. But we want to target one survivor, specifically. Alright, here we go. Nice. It's also a person who's injured. Cool. That's fine. Okay, there goes crowd control. Feels bad. He might have dead hard. I just gotta keep that in mind. Feels bad. Okay, break it. It's fine. Cool. We'll take it. Uh, I need to get over there. He has condemn on him. Let me go ahead and pop this boon, and I'm gonna go over there. Don't infect you spirit fury. Uh, you have to have bamboozle. Bamboozle is a necessity on this build. No one here. You could also run Brian. Brian wouldn't be bad for like the playstyle. It also gives a lot of information. Okay. He has to drop it or dead hard. He's got dead hard. Good. We get rid of it. We know they're over there healing up. Because they healed up, we can teleport there. Do I need to? Let me look. Nice. Got it. Joel hits that. Do we have anything here? No. So they're busy over here. Yep, here we are. There we go. He's got another stack on him. We can hopefully get rid of this pallet. Yeah, he's got to drop it or take a hit. Cool. Get rid of it, and then we need to move over to our side. Crowd control's 
down, so that part sucks, but that's okay. Here he is. I guess we can take him on the hit here. I don't know where the other survivors are, and that does bother me at the moment, but that's okay. He needs to drop this. Good. It was for a hit. He actually should have taken the hit and kept it up. We're still at five gens. Cool. Hi, how we doing? There's only one pallet over here that she has to play with now because we got rid of the other. There we go. Oh, uh, we got. She doesn't have a lot of playroom. She might have dead hard though, and I do have to wait out for that. Nice. Big jolt value. You see everyone there too. Cool. Definitely gonna go for that Quinn if I can. There's also someone else here. I could go for the hook on her. Get him to drop this, maybe? Nice. Yep. I have to swing simply because of the fact that if we're able to... Uh, let's see. We're going to come over here. We're going to go for the heal, right? Hold up. Here. I'm looking for him. Okay, makes sense. Oh, well, we got him. Okay, I'm gonna pass me back here. I'm okay with her taking a hit, by the way. She's the only one we'll hook. Everyone else wants to heal right now anyways. I'm totally okay with it. There are also pallets over here I kinda wanna get rid of. Drop it. Nice. She could try going behind me to this pallet. No, she didn't. Good. Okay. Here. Fearmonger might be nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fearmonger could be really, really good. Nice. Dead hard. Nice. Good. We got everyone going at the moment. Meghead, not so much. Who's here? It's him. Okay. We'll chase after him for a moment. He's got a vault here he can go for. Yeah, we're just going to vault it immediately. I don't want to mess too much with it. And then, yeah, we'll get hit here. That works. Everyone's injured again. Cool. I'm not a super fan of this area, but it works. Hey, gamer, what's going on? I'll take it. Now, where are we going here? Again, she's the only one we'll really go after and try and hook. And they are trying to heal a lot right now, so... She has dead hard. There goes the dead hard. Cool. Nice. Everyone's kind of running away. We got them kind of frantic right now. And now we can pick her up. Everyone's injured. They need to heal. Like, if not, they're going to be getting hurt. Morning streams are just like a one-time deal. Well, typically, whenever my sleeping schedule gets messed up, I'll swap to morning streams. How about here? It moved my teleport, unfortunately. I meant to teleport inside the building. Okay. Hi. Good. Where'd she go? I'll take it. I might have dead heart. That's literally it. She can hop in a locker. We can eat the DS here if I need to. Nice. They're healing up. I can eat the DS. They picked him up too. We're good. Let's eat the DS. It's okay. It's totally fine. That's fine. Yeah, we don't really care so much. There's only so much they can do. He'll come take a hit for her too, which is what, something I love. I don't have that issue. Okay. First, close this off. Caught her off guard. She has to dead hard. Go dead hard to the pallet here. Oh, cool. Now she's dead. Right at the perfect time. Again, it's like a form of a, of a tunnel, essentially. But we're doing it by keeping up a ton of pressure. They don't have enough people who are injured who can take hits. Cool. 
Nice, I'll take it. I'll take it. So you see how we're just keeping up this immense amount of pressure? We're gonna check everywhere. I'm gonna keep these teleports. I'm already over here. Actually, someone just hopped on this. Hi. DPI? I don't know. Just standard. Cut it down. Go back across. Nice. Big brain him. He ain't ready for it. Uh, we need to start hooking another survivor. They're healing up. I need to get someone else in the rotation of being killed. Here. Yeah. He's healing himself. I got them in a rotation right now. I'm good. We can start hooking. Yeah. As long as we have them in a rotation like this, we're fine to hook. This is where you can start opening up and hooking a lot more, by the way. Okay. And tag that. Good. All right. Oh, yeah. It's healing over here. Uh, they were doing something. Now, they haven't grabbed the box yet. These guys have getting, got to be getting really close. A lot of the pals and stuff are gone. Yeah. And they know. They already know that they're stuck in this rotation. And there's not much more they can do because they've wasted all the resources on the map. Now, again, though, like if you had like the same group, maybe with like two boon setups and uh, two, three med kits. Again, that's where Franklin's comes in. Yeah, and they've given up. So there we go. I'll leave the DS for him if he has it. You might just want to use that. The fourth perk we're looking for be the one that helps the build as a whole or a backup perk for exactly this scenario. So you have both. Uh, our, our fourth perk is always a swap. And that swap is always going to be crowd control. We tried that out. I didn't really care for it that much this round, but it did get us a nice down early. So I guess there's, you know, value in that. Um, okay. And yeah, she has decisive. They're going to save here. Save best for last is good. It's kind of just a filler. Like, whatever you want to run. But a lot of it has value. And that's what we're trying to figure out. What are the best? What are the situations? And that makes the most sense. You wish this was my killer game with me? What do you mean? Because there aren't a lot of gens done? Because I've cracked up so much pressure? The reason this wasn't your game, though, is because you chased one survivor purely throughout the whole game, man. You didn't have any pressure. That was a nice dead hard. Trapper can't do it as well either. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And again, we can get rid of him. Save the best for last, yeah. Save the best for last works out really well because it's another chase perk. Fearmonger or deer, uh, deer hunter? Uh, we're going to do probably fearmonger test. Hysteria could really help since you want the survivors to heal, right? No. Survivors always want to heal against stealth killers. It makes no sense not to be fully healed against a stealth killer. Because there's a lot of pressure around it. Again, we're getting pretty close here. Hey, buddy, what's going on? You giving up? Nice. There she is. Cool. Deny that play. Catch her off here. And get the down. Boom. Any tips on getting better with Nurse? I actually don't play a lot of Nurse. I would personally recommend watching maybe a Nurse Guide. He was here. He only ran a short distance. Dead hard. 
Okay. Nice. We'll take it. Nice. Is knockout any good? No, because you want them healing. You want them to know that there's a slug on the map. The only little bit of blindness that we have is from our uh, yellow add-on. And I've thought about maybe swapping that too. She might uh, DS me drop pallet. Fine. Yeah. Cool. Her unbreakable is already down. Great game, yeah. He went to basement, okay. Cool. He's looking for a key or a chest. But he has the size of his wealth. They won't give up. Well, they have DS, they want to use all their perks. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat the DS, there's no reason not to. I don't know if he can actually get over here and pick her up in time. Not even close, huh, bud? That feels bad, man. Well, I thought I had that one. Feels bad. I thought I could, like, tag at the very end there. Cool. Hey, buddy. You always laugh when they bluff and don't have DS? Yeah. But here you go. This felt like a more, like, full meta squad, too. They just didn't have enough boons or healing pressure. And we have a hook there. Nice. And there we go. Jeez. Like, you see how much time we're wasting? Like, like it's a very big pressure build. Again, if you lose, you're probably going to lose hard. Like, that's just, that's the nature of these kinds of builds, in my opinion. And there you go. That's a, like, look at that, guys. Like, come on, that gives it some validity, for sure. These survivors are already rank one, so they put in the hours. You have the dead hard, decisive, unbreakable, dead hard, decisive, unbreakable, dead hard, decisive, unbreakable, dead hard, decisive. Like, here you go. Here is your pure meta. Swift, like, I believe it's a Swift, too. At least three of them, I think, are Swift. It might, I might be wrong. It might be solo, but I think it's a Swift, the way they were playing out. But there you go. Like, that right there, in my opinion, gives validity to the play style and build, for sure. The strategy is definitely working. At least from the way we're looking at better i think it's working better than playing statico normally because of the way we're doing it good survivors man i don't think any of the survivors here were bad like at all i think we just have like a real strategy that no one's really ready for at the moment and they kept an eye on their thing so is this statico build designed to counter survivor meta kind of the reason what this what this build does and the best way I can explain it is that it removes the need to pick up any survivor outside of one. And like right now I'm calling it pretty much like it's just my strat, man. It's a strategy I came up with Sadako. It requires the add-on uh, ring drawing. So as the game goes on, every time they pick up a slug, they, they're they going to transfer uh, Condemn. They're going to spread Condemn. Now, if you get everyone Condemned early, this means you can get a Condemn kill super quick. And what it also does, because you're spreading condemn so much, that they have to ignore the gens and actually go interact with uh, her boxes. Like, think about that. They're not wanting to interact with my power. I'm forcing them to. So the one thing, I think this has been like a real success so far. I think there's a total, total viable strategy at the higher MMR, lower MMR, any MMR. I think we've kind of came up with something. Uh, the overall, like, play, like, the things you can play around with if you want to, like, customize this to your own um, perk style or play style is that one, the only things that are required, there's a lot that's required here. One, you need ring drawing. It has to be there. If you don't have it, this build will not work. Uh, bamboozle, you need to be able to shut down really, really strong loops. It's a guarantee you have to have it. Jolt, you will get so much value off of this over the course of a game you could not possibly believe. Because of the fact we're never picking up or always in chase, you typically get Jolt to proc a lot. I've already had it one game proc like 10 to 14 times. It was pretty crazy. Uh, infectious Fright, super, super important. Uh, not only is it going to give you the location of where survivors within 32 meters are, or, well, your terror radius, so 24, but what else it's going to do as well is let you know that, like, say you down a survivor by, like, two or three gens, you know no one's in this vicinity. You can pinpoint where the other survivors probably are. 
your fourth perk which is kind of whatever you can play around with we've been having success crowd control i think does okay nurse's calling was pretty decent say the best for last really solid now all these come with their own uh benefits and they also come with their own drawbacks if you go with say the best for last you don't have as much loop shutdown but you have higher snowball potential um again this perk isn't something that could be completely like win every game but i think it has a real potential to be like a totally different strategy that a lot of players aren't used to or prepared to play against so overall i think today's experimenting on the build was perfect exactly what i was looking for we had a lot of good groups today we had a lot of pressure felt great blood favor no you don't want blood favor because the reason there is you want to remove pallets from the match you don't want pallets there you should be able to generate enough pressure with the hit and run and catching survivors off guard um and removing pallets throughout the game now there are some maps where blood favor could be really solid uh the game uh if you're really decent you could again that's map dependent so take it at your own accord i think some of the best add-ons so far today like if you want to take like my personal favorites um fear monger i think is gonna be really solid i haven't tested it yet nurses is good no ed blood warden thrill of the hunt for uh boons can be pretty good Crowd control actually fit in really well. I did see value in that there, which I thought was pretty nice. Um, you could run Ruin if you really want to, but I don't think it's strong. When am I going to experiment with Fearmonger? Probably after my Twins games. Um, I only have like another hour or two left on stream, so I'm not sure on that part. But yeah, I think overall it was a very, very good experiment so far throughout the day. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.